On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines, juicy, rich food and pure, choice wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples, the web that is woven over all nations. He will destroy death forever. Let us rejoice and be glad that He has saved us. But now Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through a human being, the resurrection of the dead that came also through a human being. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life, but each one in proper order. Christ the first fruits, then at his coming, those who belong to Christ, then comes the end, when he hands of the kingdom to his God and Father, when he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death, for he subjected everything under his feet. But when it says that everything has been subjected, it is clear that it excludes the one who subjected everything to him. When everything is subjected to him, then the Son himself will be subjected to the one who subjected everything to him, so that God may be all in all. Ibang boses ko ngayon kasi kagbababa ko lang galing sa Blala. Palamig doon sa so Igat this codes. I am the resurrection and the life. Everyone who li lives and believes in me will never die. This is our faith. And this is the very reason why we are gathered together because we believe in the resurrection. Martha professed her faith in the resurrection. Ganun din po tayo lahat. Coming together and celebrating the Eucharist with our beloved dead Uemai is one of the greatest traditions that we continue to practice. And I find this a treasure in itself. This practice reminds us all of God's fidelity to His promises to us as oblates until the end. With God's boundless and limitless grace, these departed brothers of ours, the oblates, have Persevered. They end up here in this holy place, holy mountain. Their yes to Jesus' invitation of radical discipleship by way of following the footsteps of our founder, Saint Eugene, did not end up for nothing. And for this, they will be forever remembered from one generation. To the next. The article number 43 from the Constitution and Rules says, We will keep alive the memory of our deceased and not fail to pray for them, faithfully offering the suffrages prescribed on their behalf. Yes, very beautifully stated. But I believe it's not just praying for them, but this also serves as reminders and inspiration to all of us 
as we continue the journey. Some of our beloved departed opens who are staying here are known to us. We have lived with them, we have laughed and rejoiced with them in their accomplishments. We have cried with them in their sorrows and disappointments. We have dreamt together with them about our mission. And there are some other experiences that we have had with them that we consider significant to us even up to now. And these are all treasures that we relinquish every time that we come to pray with them in the Eucharist or when we do personal visits to them. I've been in Thailand for 22 years and we have not gathered in the cemetery just like we have here because we don't have our own OMI cemetery. We have the chance to pray for them during our retreat. But, yes, they have been source of strength to all of us. I have come here once and visit our brethren, our brothers here. I have talked with Father Emmett Laker, Benji, and others while I was the delegation superior in Thailand and then asking for the prayers, especially during the times that I was down, struggling. Yes, they are source of strength and inspiration. May this coming together serve us, serve as a reminder to all of us oblates that we are called to a life of endless perseverance, which in fact is the fourth vow that we have. I remember others saying, Mawala na ang lahat, wag lang lupang apat, that we keep us going in our journey as our plans. And I believe that it's very important for us to continue. With God's grace, we persevere. As I come to visit them in the cemetery, I see in each of them an oblate who persevered. May they continue to inspire us as we continue our journey as missionary objects of merit in Italy. If that is my experience, I hope that is the experience of everyone. Just like what we say nowadays, Sana Olu. <laughs>